hi gemini welcome back to my channel thank you guys for joining me this is going to be for gemini sun moon rising venus and north node okay please take what resonates and leave what does not fit i hope you guys are doing well all right so let's see please still and switch the roles as they apply to your situation okay i could be talking about someone else heavily in your energy so let's see spirit guys angels for gemini sun moon rising venus and north no what do we have for gemini spirit messages for gemini okay so we have acceptance okay just wanted to pop out <laughs> it popped out the first time it says you're accepting situations and people for what they are learning to let go of things that can no longer be fixed and choosing to change to challenge yourself and to grow then we have abundance your manifestations are about to start paying off abundantly you are long overdue for some great financial rewards and you are finally being rewarded Okay, then we have reconciliation. It says an old love interest will come back wanting to reconcile and rebuild. It may be worth hearing what they have to say, but it's up to you if you want to give them a, a second chance. So this reconciliation could possibly be abundant, right? It could be, yeah, victory at the bottom of the deck. So it looks like a good one here. My ear is ringing. Okay, so let's see what that's about. This looks nice. So if you've been manifesting this reconciliation with someone is coming, okay, Gemini looks really promising. So let's see for Gemini spirit, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and North Node. And what is going on with Gemini? What do they need to know? What's up, baby? What does Gemini need to know? Okay. Got four pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, somebody holding on to you. <laughs> they ain't letting you go. So let's see. For Gemini Spirit, what is going on? What do they need to know? Okay, the Emperor. Yeah, your Divine Masculine. Could be an Aries that you're dealing with. The Ace of Swords. The hangman could be dealing with the Pisces and the hermit Virgo. So, yeah, it looks like this is your divine masculine here bringing you some type of clarity and truth. I feel like you're receiving a major breakthrough with this connection or this person here. <clears throat> I feel like somebody right now is setting boundaries in their life so that way nothing can break this apart. If you guys have already went through separation and shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Three of Cups wanted to pop out. Yeah, it's very fitting for this reading. So let's see what else. Somebody is looking at something from a different perspective. They're releasing and going through a major transformation. Or this is you. But there's some clarity coming towards you here. Whatever was in the dark or whatever was hidden, I feel like it's coming out now. It's going to be victorious. So it looks like a good reconciliation. I mean, what, what else for Gemini? Five of Wands. Yeah, whatever the confusion and the fighting and the difficulties was about, I feel like somebody wants to be honest with you about it. What else? It might cause a bit of an argument because I don't know if this person did. Seven of Cups. What else? The Death card. Yeah, major transformation. The Devil at the bottom of the deck. And the Hierophant. Hmm. So something here was definitely toxic though i feel like maybe if this was like a third party situation or something like that um mm -hmm. but somebody is definitely ending things that are not serving this connection or themselves just period um somebody here could have been very much confused and not really seeing too clearly all right this person i don't know if they put you in competition with someone else or there was just a lot of fighting and conflict in the background here but you know that has ended or the confusion and illusions i feel like are are gone right somebody's not confused or in, stuck in some type of illusion anymore could have been a lot of friends and family getting in the way of this okay they were toxic here somebody had to get rid of some karmics karmic family karmic friends karmic lovers whatever but they're definitely awakening here somebody's standing in their true masculine energy it looks like Let's see. Why is the emperor here? 
Why is this emperor here for Aries? I mean, <laughs> could be dealing with the Aries, but for Gemini, why is the emperor here? The lovers. Yeah, this is definitely your divine masculine, your divine counterpart here. They're in full alignment with you. Yeah, my ears are ringing again. They're in full alignment. Then we have the emperor again. So somebody is definitely, this is a masculine I'm talking to. So it could be the feminine watching the reading, but this is your masculine I'm pulling in. Yeah, ace of cups, the hierophant. Yeah. Yeah, they're coming towards you for a reconciliation and a get together. <laughs> they want to be with you here. Yep, this is a strong connection. Strong soulmate or twin flame dynamic here. That is coming into alignment. What else for the uh, emperor? Somebody realized that they have feelings for you. They see who you are. The five of cups. Yeah, they're definitely in regret and remorse about what has happened between you two. And they want to fix it. They do. They want to take control over the this, this situation and be clear about what happened or why things ended the way that they ended with you and them. <clears throat> but yeah, a lot of disappointment. Somebody here could have made a choice between two or had a choice and they chose the wrong path or something. Yeah, but that cycle is coming to a close with the world card. Could be dealing with the Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Yeah. Let's see. What is the Ace of Swords for Gemini? The Four of Swords. What else for the Ace of Swords? And the seven of swords yeah there was some lying and deceitful energy or somebody this person deceived you in a way or they this is just them running away from you because they needed to do some healing work you guys couldn't come together until they did this here this is probably why they blocked you out i feel like they want to burn they want to tell you what why they blocked you or why they stopped pursuing you here like what happened this person definitely lied about something though but i feel like you're going to get the truth very soon <laughs> very very soon I feel like this is you. So this is you, Gemini. That This is you, all this air energy. So this is you resting up. You possibly... I don't know. Somebody here... Maybe this is you trying to be strategic and um, tell this person how you feel. You could be trying to think of how to come towards this person to bring them the truth, right? But you definitely want to be honest about why they ran from you. Um, or... Um, Y'all know what I'm saying. <laughs> you want to be honest to this person about why you ran from them or vice versa. But I do see somebody getting some rest and thinking things through before they come towards you to bring you this communication with the Ace of Swords. But you're definitely trying to think about something. Hmm. What is the Seven of Swords right here? What is this? Let's just make sure. The Eight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you're trying to go back to someone or you return back to someone from that you were dealing with and you lied about, the, about it to this person or vice versa. And so now you're trying to figure out how the fuck am I even going to come back to my actual person if I have done this? <laughs> okay, what else for the Seven of Swords? Yeah, the Six of Swords. You definitely got yourself into some shit. It's in reverse. So you walk back, you went back to someone or something from your past that you were dealing with before, maybe your twin or this mm. counterpart. And yeah, it's just, you know, <laughs> typical twin flame stuff. This is what twin flames go through most of the time. But this is them returning. So this person is returning to you or you're returning to your person. You feel like it's going to be the reason I feel like you're being strategic because you feel like it's going to be an argument. <laughs> you do. You feel like you like, you know, Things have been delayed, definitely delays or cause this connection to be delayed because somebody made a decision and it was the wrong decision to do something here. Yeah, page of principles. Yeah, you're returning home is what I'm hearing. You're returning. So let's see, what is the um, hangman for Gemini? The, the star, yeah, you're hoping that you can heal this here. But somebody is definitely going through um, healing mm -hmm. and they're trying to be optimistic about this here. They could be feeling a little stuck, like, you know, mm -hmm. how am I even going to heal this connection with my person? Mm -hmm. But uh-uh. Mm -hmm. But um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Mm -hmm. But they're hoping that, that this can be healed. I feel like somebody is definitely healed as well, though. Mm -hmm. They're healed and they're ready to approach you. I feel like they're just trying to be strategic. Mm -hmm. Definitely air sign energy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hmm. 
yeah it's like somebody just finally surrendered it's like i can't keep doing what i'm doing just period which is good what is this hangman right here two of wands yeah making that decision taking the opportunity to somebody's really planning that's what this is somebody's planning and trying to be trying to move in a way where it's, it's somebody doesn't like to be rejected they just don't this is a strong masculine energy i'm pulling in so they just don't want to be rejected by you so they're trying to be strategic to see how they can bring <clears throat> forth a proper reconciliation with you they want it to be abundant they just don't want anything they're not going to take no for an answer either they're not but i feel like yeah whatever they went back to or whatever happened they see through the smoke and mirrors they see clearly about whatever this is definitely not emotionally fulfilled where they were at some of you guys could live um, at a distance from your person. There could be some travel involved. This person could possibly be trying to make travel plans to come and see you. But, yeah. What is this hermit right here for Gemini? The Knight of Wands. What else for the hermit? The Knight of Pentacles. There could be a choice between two people here. And you're just going to have to go into hermit mode to figure out what you want to do. Or this is this person. This could just be this person right here, or this is you, whoever it is. This is somebody that is trying to balance themselves. They, they're they coming in passionate, yes, but they want to be stable as well. They want to be reliable, somebody that you can depend on. They don't want to be in and out. But for some of you, you possibly do have a choice to make, maybe between your soulmate and a twin, uh, between like a, a, you know, a soulmate or a twin flame dynamic, twin flame soulmate dynamic. But yeah, let, let's see what this is. What is this Knight of Wands? Gemini somebody has changed is what I feel somebody has changed from the knight of wands to the knight of pentacles more mature more reliable they're not really in and out they're not going to come in for passion and leave back out you know they want to be stable and secure with their you know in their spot with you what is this knight of wands let's see if these are two different people what is this knight of wands the eight of pentacles yeah this person okay so this person is working on their finances so they can come towards you or this is you yeah they're in hermit mode right now but they're ready to take action the knight of oh, okay so that's what that is the knight of wands is movement the knight of pentacles is not like it's i mean it does move but it's just very slow it's stagnant it's like it is not moving at all right something here is slow progress but i feel like somebody's about to take off because they want to work on this connection so a uh, work environment or just work for this person could have slowed this person down they were trying to get their money together to come towards you but they're definitely going through an awakening though they're much wiser than before and you know they're still passionate about you but i feel like they're coming in more stable this time and wanting to dedicate themselves and focus on you and only you right so yeah somebody mastered or learned a lesson here i'm going through this spiritual enlightenment what is this three of cups Page of Pentacles in reverse and the Knight of Swords. Hmm. So this was like a third party here. I feel like whoever they chose or whatever this, whatever this is, these family, friends or whatever, it was the wrong route because something here is just unreliable. Okay, with the Page of Pentacles in reverse, it's like um, whatever this is, it's just not... Somebody could really be lazy or irresponsible, right? It's like they just wanted to, they were very impulsive with whatever the decision that they made here. Very impulsive, um, really just wanting to party, maybe drink and somebody was immature, just basically, or somebody here is very immature, very childish. I don't even feel like that's you or your person. I feel like maybe it's third party energy or something, but yeah, it's like somebody just never followed through. They just wanted to, they came in and out very impulsive, like, you know, they just, they just come and I, I don't know. Somebody here, somebody here could be dealing with someone that's toxic with the devil, or this is this third party rushing in towards someone to offer you something, possibly Gemini, but it's not reliable. You can't trust it. This person is very impulsive and reckless with their moves. So just be aware of that. Somebody else could be coming in. So like we have the Knight of Wands, Knight of, Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. So it could be three or more people trying to approach you about you know with an offer you're just probably gonna have to make a choice but this is not trustworthy whatever this is here 
So yes, you have your person here that's changing, but then there's other people around you or something. They're trying to offer you something that's just not going to work. Somebody here didn't take advantage of the opportunity either. So your person didn't take advantage of the opportunity with you possibly and went to go fuck off with a third party or whatever. And it didn't work. They're very depulsive. They made I said depulsive. <laughs> Impulsive. They made a decision to go and do whatever. And it wasn't nothing stable. Nothing that they can count on. Or just... It just wasn't very reliable. Yeah, what is this Five of Wands right here? The Five of Swords. So there is some conflict going on. Whatever this is, family and friends or third parties or karmics and shit like that. That's trying to get in the way. There is people right here that are trying to slow this up. This is why the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles came out. Because it's been a lot of delays. Somebody need to get their finances together, yes. But also do some self-work. Yeah, but there's a lot of mind games going on. A lot of fuckery, a lot of conflict here with the Five of Wands, Five of Swords. You guys could be seeing Five Five. What else for the Five of Wands? The Hierophant. Hmm. So, what is this Hierophant right here? The Seven of Wands in reverse. What else for the Hierophant? Could be dealing with the Taurus. The six of pentacles so there could be somebody here could be married or could have been married to someone that played mind games with them they were just supporting this person financially or something like that but i feel like because you're conforming to spirit and you're letting spirit guide you yeah you're letting spirit guide you out of this people are giving you a hard time but somebody here for some of you somebody could still be married or something i don't know somebody's married and it's like, there's, there's no way they can get out of this shit. They have to keep giving to this person. There's a lot of shit going on, Gemini. I don't know. Just take it how it resonates, man. But yeah, it's like the seven of wands. It's like somebody doesn't have the... They can't defend themselves or they can't really do anything here. Somebody here wants you to give to them or support them in a way or... I don't know, but they're... I feel like there's a spiritual connection that's balancing out. That's what this is as well with the um the uh, Hierophant. <clears throat> it's like somebody has the lack of courage or the lack of um some, that's what this is somebody's belief systems here they're like um what is what am i trying to say they're This person wants to have authority over you or somebody that you were married to wants authority over you, but they can't. It's like they, mm, okay. Somebody folded like on their belief systems, what they believe to be right. They folded on it in the beginning, but now it's like they're ready to, ready to conform to whatever this is. And somebody is like, there's people around somebody that's trying to make them not follow through with you possibly yeah it's like someone's belief systems here is to make things right with you but somebody is um yeah somebody lost respect for someone somebody just there, there's no respect here for someone with all this conflict and fighting whatever this is somebody just lost respect you could be having to pay this person some money or vice versa or this is this third party here but yeah, it's a lot going on right there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. Somebody's reputation could be bad or... Yeah, what is this Seven of Cups for Gemini? The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, so somebody got options here. I feel like somebody's karma is getting good options. I mean, somebody's good karma is getting options. Right, there's a lot of things changing here. I feel like somebody has been confused for a while. Whatever that is, it's clearing up. The illusions, the confusion is clearing up. There's good fortune and good karma coming in to play here. Yeah, what else for the Seven of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune? The King of Swords, yeah. Being honest, seeing through whatever this is, being clear about your boundaries and setting strong, healthy boundaries for people that you have around you. You know, 
cutting people off that don't serve you here. I feel like if you are very cold towards someone, that's changing. But somebody has a strong masculine energy, though. I don't see no um, queens out here. Just the emperor and the king of swords, knight of swords, knight of pentacles, knight of wands. This is the masculine I'm talking about. Yeah, what is this king of swords? The, yeah, the eight of swords in reverse. That's good. So this, you're coming out of confusion. You're not trapped. You're not stuck anymore regardless of whatever this is maybe people are losing respect for you for the simple fact that what you don't want to deal with them okay <laughs> like all right whatever Wh who cares <laughs> moving on so yeah i feel like you're being authentic you're standing in your true authentic self and you're just moving on it's helping you out of this trapped energy you're not trapped anymore just period what is this death card the chariot could be dealing with the cancer so yeah you're moving forward <clears throat> your life is progressing everything is going how it needs to go after this ending or after this transformation i see things moving forward here you're determined to work through these issues and get rid of these people that you need to get rid of so you can get this reconciliation yeah what else for the death the ace of swords yeah again so yeah page of wands king of pentacles yeah, so you're definitely getting a victory. There's a victory here. This transformation is leading you right into a victorious time here in your life. Also, in regards to this reconciliation, you're accepting people and things for who they are. And you're just moving on. Just period. So I feel like there's a breakthrough in communication here. Or something's going to become, become very clear to you and it's going to help you end things with whoever you need to end it with. But nonetheless, I see that this transformation is helping you to be strong in your position with who you are as a person and everything like that. So let's see, Gemini, what this is here. Well, let's see. Let's get some of these cards. outrageousness i mean outrageous openness dear love open me to your will release me from your from my attachments surprise and delight me with your plan you know what's needed and i am open to receive yeah i feel like somebody's aloofness is changing somebody's very cold like this person has been very cold towards you i feel like that's changing yeah then we have deepening once you're on earth for enough lifetimes your old soul will begin to long for non-grasping detachment and surrender they bring the peace of god yeah, I feel like somebody ran away from this connection. It was, yeah, somebody in their feelings. They are. We have love. Divine sources, the idea that no person, place, or thing is your salvation. Only love itself. Mm -hmm. Then we have extraordinary. There's a wild and impetuous uniqueness to you that deserves to be honored. Yeah. Somebody is... um feeling more open and free now they can be themselves or something like that so yeah somebody realize their power here they do what else all right we have intuition we have um each person's road to the inner lord is extraordinary and personal how liberating to listen inside and sense moment to moment what's needed yeah following their intuition then we have inner power. Give me the courage and the power to do what must be done. Yeah, trying to build that courage up to come towards you and present this love offer here. It's reconciliation. Then we have ease. It's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. Yep, then we have divine love at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, and trust. So trust that this love is going to be divine. It's going to, it's not going to be like your other ones. Somebody here could have trust issues real bad. But it looks good, though, Gemini. So this was your reading. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and I will talk to you later. Bye.